Cool. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, and like I said, it does vary this time of year. There's, um, there's a lot of growth going on. At the end of summer, it's really dry. Um, the part that's up near the top does, uh, doesn't do as well. This part that's in the bowl usually does well throughout the whole year because that's where the water is collecting. It's really nice to see. I think this is about as good as I've seen it. And you can really tell that everything's just starting to grow. They have, they have some hoses up here. Um, and I don't know a ton about it, um, but they they are spread throughout the whole the whole roof. But um, it's pretty much just natural rainfall that we're, we're collecting. Up here, we see uh, lots of birds come up here. They take their prey up here. Sometimes we'll see bones uh, from them. So there's a lot of wildlife that come up here. You know, we see uh, small rodents and things like that as well. So it's kind of interesting, right in the middle city to see activity like that going on. Um, it's hard to say per year. Um, I'd say every week when we do the tours, we have maybe half a dozen people come. Um, sometimes we give two tours if there's a lot of people. And as I said earlier, we sometimes get groups. Like this next week, we're getting a group of 80 people coming. Uh, that's pretty unusual, but I'd say we get one of those about every three or four months. Um, usually smaller groups, that's about the biggest group we'll have had. Uh, we also had a celebration for the, the Seattle Public Libraries um, completing all their building projects earlier this year, and we had um, tours going on all day, so we had probably you know 80 to 100 people on that day. Mostly we get either um, architectural students um, for green design, or we get um, uh, like a, just college students who have heard of the building. We, it's interesting, we had a group from Starbucks here last week. Um, um, I think they were just trying to learn about the community, so they asked to set up a tour. Um, so it really varies. We also get just people from the community. That's most of what we get during the week, just the regular visitors. Um, just people who live in Ballard or live in the city and have heard about the green roof. Um, they'll come by and want to see it. Sometimes we'll get people doing a tour of all the green roofs, all the, the eco-design uh, elements in the city. They'll heard about ours and they'll, they'll come and see it. The building is fairly well known because it won a couple of awards when it first was uh, built. So people do know about it. We do get international visitors occasionally. Um, sometimes people who are seeing the Central Library uh, will hear about it and they'll come out and see this library as well. So we get some library people, some architecture people, some people just from the community. So almost everyone who uses the Seattle Public Library, even if they never come here, they know about it. You know, they have, we have the signs in the lobby that describe it, so they're, sometimes they'll just be here and they'll say, oh, you know, do you guys do tours? And then they'll say, oh, let's go up and take a look, you know, if they have their kids or whatever with them. It's really interesting. I think people in this community are really proud of the building. I think that's the, the main sentiment that we hear, you know, people, uh, throughout the city know about it and they're very proud that this particular uh, library, their community library, is the one that has the green roof.